Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be going through my five favorite collecting money making methods in old school RuneScape. Now before we get into it, one thing that you need to know is if you plan on playing RuneScape for a while, collecting money making methods shouldn't be your primary way of making money. Over time you should skill and PVM to the point to where you get better money making methods. One, it'll make the game more enjoyable, and two, it'll just be better for your account. So, these should really be for people that just don't have enough money in their bank at the time to do what they need to do, or people that just don't have very good stats. So as far as the first money making method goes, the requirements behind it are Death Plateau, which is a quest. It's pretty simple and overall not too bad at all. 5 to 10k cash, which you can receive really early on into an account, so pretty much everyone will have access to that. A games necklace and a dueling ring. So no real requirements other than one quest and a little bit of starting GP to be able to do it. Uh, as far as where we're going here, you're going to want to head up to this blue square up in Birth Orb. Now I'm going to be using a games necklace to get there and telling to Birth Orb through that. That's the way I'd recommend pretty much everyone to go about it. And from there, you're going to want to run to the northwest, going through that little alley, and ending up at Tenzig's house. So once you get there, talk to Tenzing and offer to buy climbing boots off of him for 12 GP. This can be done through selecting the first option on both of the chat inboxes that you will get and you actually don't have to leave the chat you can just sit here and constantly keep doing it what I do is I just hold down spacebar and then press what the first option is for both of them the other option of that is you can hold down the spacebar and then switch to pressing one in between but personally I just found the clicking and holding the spacebar kind of nice uh, really obviously it's up to you but this does make for a little bit of money as climbing boots are about 700 GP each currently at the time of recording it's some of the highest prices they've had in a while so rates are pretty pretty good right now as far as what I was finding per hour wise you can make about 380 K and obviously it's a lot of clicking so you do have to consider it it's something I'd say is definitely good for some starting cash maybe to do for an hour or two but it's something I wouldn't recommend long term as it is very grindy with the whole clicking and constant chat maneuvering so uh, as far as how I see this method probably about a 6.5 honestly the method itself isn't all too enjoyable but the low requirements and the decent GP per hour is something that I value pretty highly all right so the next money making method is going to be picking up white berries in the wilderness if you've never done this before there aren't really any requirements but there kind of are to be able to pick up white berries there are no necessary requirements to do that however the lava dragons do hit relatively hard so I'd recommend you either have 43 prayer for this method or about 30 HP to be able to deflect some hits as well as you will be getting attacked a pretty decent amount 43 prayer will be a big help while having 30 HP will be a little bit more annoying as far as what you're gonna to want to bring bring a looting bag a stamina potion with two doses and on top of that you're gonna to want to bring an anti-fire shield a dueling ring and a weapon that will allow you to slash a net now I'm starting in Edgeville and using the lever you don't necessarily have to do this method uh, in my inventory I have a burning amulet which is an alternative way to teleport up there I teleport to the lava maze and then run but honestly there's not too much of a difference so really what whichever way you prefer will be the way to go about it. From the teleport, you're going to want to find your way to the Lava Dragon Isle. To do that, just start up here, run southeast through this little gate. You'll run past some hellhounds along the way, and then once you go through the gate, continue a little bit southwest, and you will find yourself there. Upon going inside, you'll see there are lava dragons scattered throughout. Try to stick to this side right here, and the white berry spawns will be down here in the bottom right and left. Now from there, it's as simple as just walking back and forth and getting the white berries. Now white berries at the moment are 1.3 to 1.4k, some of the highest prices they've ever been. So this method is actually really, really good right now. An average ship for me is coming in at about five minutes. And as far as the overall white berries that you can expect per trip, you can expect about 75k profit once you subtract the stamina potion and the cost of glory teleport. The overall rate for white berries comes in right now at about 900k and as far as a rating from me it's a strong nine the only thing that isn't great about this method is you can potentially get pk'd if someone feels like just kind of being a douche because really there's no point to kill a white berry killer they're not going to be able to pick it all up they just want to do it for the fun of it and while it may be annoying i think it's the only downside of this method making 900k an hour with pretty much no requirements is honestly just insane and so i'd recommend this for anyone that has nothing 
and is just looking to get a little bit of starting cash. Honestly, you can grind it out for a decent bit. So on to our third money making method. This is going to be one that's a little different because I want to mix up the gameplay with this. I don't want it just to be five methods of doing the same exact thing. And honestly, this one's pretty fun and it maybe makes it a little bit more enjoyable for you guys. So as far as the requirements for this method, you're going to need to have Elemental Workshop 1 done. Uh, that will allow you to wear elemental shields, which can deflect the wyvern blast and allow you to actually be able to live there. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to need 100 to 500k starting cash. The more the better, obviously, but you'll be buying items off of players. In addition to that, having access to the fairy rings helps a lot. However, if you don't have that, it's not the end of the world. Now, as far as gear, I'm going to go in what is just some noob gear to make me look not that great. If you look like a noob here, honestly, people might give you better deals on stuff because they feel bad for you, so something to consider. On top of that, you'll need an elemental shield, as I said previously, and I'll be using a Draymond Staff to teleport through the fairy rings. I also bring a couple pieces of food in my inventory in case of aggro from the wyverns, along with some prayer potions and other things to sell. Now, what you're going to need to do is make your way to the wyvern lair. I'll be doing that by using the fairy rings and teleporting to Mudskipper Point. If you don't have that unlocked, teleport to Remington and have your house there, and then go to the southeast. Now, as far as how this money-making method works, basically it's all done through a CC called the Wyvern CC. There are no spaces, it's all one word. Uh, and what this is, is it's basically a collection of near 100 players, pretty much a filled clan at all times. A lot of these wyvern killers are there for long periods of time, pretty much never banking, and they want to sell some of the drops that they actually can't hold, such as herbs, prayer potions, some, I guess not really any alkables, but you'll have food, bones, I mean there's honestly just a ton of stuff that they need here since they can't constantly be going to the bank and there's stuff they're willing to sell since they can't hold on to everything. So from there what you're going to do is just wait for people to call out stuff in the clan chat. They'll just call out what they're selling and what world and from there you can hop to them and kind of bargain or negotiate. Really, if you're someone that's actually running stuff for people it's more of a speed game against other people because you won't be the only one in the cc doing it whenever i was in here there was three or four sometimes there's less sometimes there's more and that's why the money really ranges here hourly because you don't know how many other people are doing it but eventually after sitting in here for a little bit it'll start to pop off and you'll see that people everywhere are offering different stuff and what basically the rate that i say for about most of this stuff is give them close to 60 to 65 percent of whatever it's actually worth so if they throw in what is 50k into a trade offer i'm gonna go ahead and just give them like 32k somewhere around there and typically that works well they get what they want i get what i want and they don't have to bank and i make a little bit of money as far as this money making method goes it's really just drastic depending on how what like what loot people are getting how many people are online how many people are running so really it ranges anywhere from what i'd say about 500k an hour to a mil plus if you're actually on top of your game and there's not many people around you uh as far as my rating, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Honestly, I find it enjoyable, but if you get kind of beat out for a couple people in worlds and uh, you start to become like just a little slower than someone else, it could be a little irritating, and I could see why that may uh, hinder the experience if you're someone that isn't looking to compete for a money-making method. Now moving on to my fourth one. The requirements for this is going to be Priest in Peril, Nature Spirit, some prayer points, about 35 plus will be able to work. Really, you don't need all too much. There's no set level but having higher does help and if you want to make this actually real efficient the Mauritania hard diary will allow you to make twice as much per hour so unlocking that would be helpful now this money making method as many of you may know is picking up Mortmire fungus from the Mauritania swamp as far as what you need you just need to have those quests completed and a silver sickle along with some teleports I'll personally be going there with a fairy ring and teleporting to a bank with a dueling ring it's as easy as going over to some logs and casting bloom constantly and once you do that you just pick up the Mortmire fungus that appears on the logs redo the cycle and continue until your inventory is full if you have the Mauritania hard diaries done you do get double the fungus which is why you make more money per hour uh, as far as the enjoyability of this honestly I don't find it to be too much of a grind it is pretty easy to just go there and you know click every now and then it's a pretty relaxing money-making method I think but at the time of recording it actually isn't that good of money Mortmeyer fungus is pretty much the cheapest it's ever been at about 450 per one and if you don't have the diary unlocked it's only 300k GP per hour which is 
the worst on the list so far. If you do have the diary unlocked, it goes up to 600k, but even then you'd make more at white berries. Really this money making method isn't the craziest right now, but I decided to put it in the video because it's one that typically is pretty good and if Mortmire fungus goes up in the future, it'll be one that will be prevalent going forward. As far as my thoughts on it at the time of recording, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. There are probably worse ones out there, so I won't give it a 1, but it's pretty close. It's not that great, but honestly, if Mortmire fungus picks up in price, it could go to near where white berries are, and typically it kind of rivals white berries, which is why I figured it was good to throw it in this video. Now the final money making method, as I said earlier, I do like to kind of change it up and this is one that people have done in the past. Honestly, I've kind of always had like thoughts of doing it, but I never, I never pulled the trigger on it. It isn't something that I necessarily would want to do, but it is picking up greater necreal loot uh, from people in the catacombs. So as far as the requirements, there really are none. Uh, high alking would help and really that's that's about it you're not going to be attacked all you're doing is picking stuff up off the ground from other people and really that's that's actually about it you're going to need to be able to find yourself to the kingdom of great karen just the little castle there and once you go down into the catacombs basically there you will find yourself in all the slayer monsters from there go northeast and you will be able to find two rooms that are right and left of each other where they will be filled with neck reels from there what you're going to want to do is just find a world in which there are people in both rooms ideally that would be the case if you can't find that then i guess you could settle for one with one person in a world but ideally you're looking for two something i will say is you can't hop around worlds and pick up stuff because if you hop worlds you don't see other people's loot on the ground until about two minutes later so it's not a possibility what i'd say to do is just stick it out in a world afk and also if you're if you're trying to be nice about it ask the people in the other rooms if you can pick up their loot uh it's not necessarily something you have to do you could just pick it up anyways and if they don't answer don't feel i guess too ashamed by doing it you gave them the opportunity to respond and if they didn't i guess what are you really going to do they're leaving the stuff on the ground anyways but if you do ask and you are friendly with these people they may leave you a little bit extra just because you were nice enough to ask and on top of that they also don't have to fight you because some stuff they actually might be trying to pick up they just are doing the bursting at the moment so they can't and if you're picking up their loot they might just honestly get salty and start picking up everything i know i do sometimes out of spite because well it's my loot and i feel as if i have a right to it as far as the money you can make here per hour really it does vary on how many people are looting typically you won't find too many looters here so it shouldn't be too big of a problem uh it'll be more so hard to just find people that are constantly bursting and people that are willing to drop more loot uh, if you're scouting world to world maybe look for people in better gear because they may be more willing to leave stuff on the ground as far as the estimated profit here honestly it just varies a lot depending on what you can find anywhere from 300 to 800k an hour but if you're not competing against someone else looting which you typically aren't it is pretty afk because you only have to go and pick up all of their loot like once every minute or two overall i'll give this method a six out of ten honestly it is pretty good but i, I think too many people might get caught up in the trap of thinking that this is really really viable it is something I'd recommend and obviously it is better than climbing boots as far as the money making method goes, but I feel like people give it a little bit more hype than it may deserve. Alright, so that is going to be it for me today. Hopefully you guys were able to find a money making method that is going to be able to make you some bank going forward. If you guys did and enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. If there's anything you want to tell me, anything you want me to make a video about, leave it down below in a comment. And on top of that, if you guys uh, don't have a clan chat to chill out in, check out this one, small EXP lamp in game, same as the name right here, same as the YouTube name. But with that said though, hopefully you guys do have a wonderful day, and uh, peace.